l e t s make a lot song. Chendo, lot chong, nom lot, ban lot. First, you're gonna soak your limestone water. You can find this at the Asian supermarket. You want to soak this for overnight. We will use only the clear portion of the water. The limestone is gonna help harden your pandan jellies. And for your guys' convenience, I'll list all the measurements and ingredients in the description. So these are pandan leaves. You're gonna hear this a lot. People compare this to the vanilla of Asia. It has a really nice floral note. Also, this you can find this at the Asian supermarkets. They're usually in the frozen aisle. If you're lucky, go to your parents' house. Maybe they plant them. Come like this. So, mmm, it smells so good. Pandan leaves. This is really hard to blend through the blender unless you have a really good one. So I'm gonna chop it into smaller pieces. So that way I can blend it. You can't find these at the Asian supermarket. You can use the, the artificial flavor one. I'm gonna blend it with my limestone water. My limestone, I did soak it overnight. This is gonna help harden the candy and jellies. So this is the limestone water, okay? So I soaked that overnight. You can do it for a couple hours if you're in a rush. You're gonna mix in rice flour and tapioca starch and mung bean starch. Don't worry, because I'll have all the measurements in the comment section. Okay, now I'm gonna whisk everything in. All together. So here I already have my pandan extract and now we're gonna pour in our extract. Stir and pour as you go. This is gonna help get rid of any kind of clumps. We don't want that. Also it's gonna give the pandan jelly its color or you can always use food coloring. You know, this is very time consuming. It's a labor of love. But sometimes, if you're not in a rush and you make this, it becomes very therapeutic. Stir and pour as you go. I'm just gonna strain it for its extract. So I've been blending this for a minute now. If you want, you can even do with a cheesecloth if you have it. My hands are clean. It's gonna squish it and strain it. First extract. Squeeze it all up. So you're gonna need about like eight cups of this, okay? So the water's gonna come out like that. See that? Okay, turn on the heat. We're gonna make a syrup now, okay? And we're just gonna let that melt. If you want, you can tie a knot of pandan leaf. Put in here too if you want it fragrant. On high heat, add palm sugar to pot or pan. Add in a little bit of sugar. Once it caramelizes, add in some water until it dissolves. We're looking for something like this. Next, let's make our coconut sauce. Open two cans of coconut milk. Coconut sauce. Let's make our coconut sauce. So two cans of coconut milk. A little bit of sugar. Bit of salt, put that around. Bring this to a boil and stir until it dissolves and set aside for later use. Okay, now you guys ready for a workout? Medium high heat, we're gonna stir this for a very, very long time. While that's heating up, go ahead and give everything in your mixing bowl a stir again. We don't want anything to be lumpy. This is gonna take a very long time. Pour this in here. You can add food coloring if you want. I've done it in the past. If you want like a darker color. So now we're just gonna keep stirring this, okay? And you keep stirring this for about 30 minutes. Imagine it was a bigger batch. You're probably doing this for hours.
Dude, that was a workout. See? It, we want it to fall like that, okay? Like this. We want it to fall like this. Be like a teardrop when it falls so that was probably like 35 minutes so far 40 minutes wow this is almost 40 minutes 40 minutes stirring to drip like that. Like aerobics, guys. <laughs> left, right, left, right, push in, push out, push in, both. Might as well just work out and cook, you know? And work out. Left, right. It is a workout. Let's see this. This is what we want. Go for Keep going. Oh, stop. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Mom, I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> Me as a child. Dude, this sucks. Oh, my arms. I'm tired. I gotta keep going. Ooh. Look like booger. <laughs> This is the consistency that we're looking for. Wow, look at that, all that hard work. Next, we're gonna place this in a chendo presser. They're gonna fall through like teardrops onto the ice water, creating little pandan jellies, as well as stopping the cooking process. You're gonna have to work fast. I have my ice water here. Press it through with a lo chong presser. There's different sizes. I'm using a smaller size today. You can find this at the Asian supermarket or on Amazon. See that? Oh, uh, see that? It'll start falling. The size of your pandan jellies is really up to you. If you want it longer, press down a little bit more and it'll become longer strands. You want teardrop, let it pass through naturally. Once the pandan jelly falls into the ice water, do not touch it. Allow a minute or two for it to form its pandan jelly. They will harden up and it'll be ready to serve. Look at that. Wow, see that? This was a labor of love. Let me show you guys how I like to eat this. Well, summer has come to an end. I hope you guys had a great summer to end the summer with the bang. I made some kalosong, also known as chendo, lochong. I have ice in here and I'm just gonna pour some of my coconut milk. Then my syrup. Whoa. Wow. This is made throughout Asia and it's very, very popular. Spoon. See that? Mix it. And I have some ice in here. Mmm. Ah, so good and refreshing. Mm. Yeah. Ah, delicious. Hey, what's up, guys? Let's make color song number. You can have so much fun with this. Throughout Asia, everyone has their own take on making this. There's so many different variations. You can put like tropical fruits in it, tapioca jellies, tapioca pearls, and also depending on the holidays, you can use food coloring and have fun with that as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'm your host Harris Pinyanovo and this was Cooking with Mr. International. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I release a lot of video tutorials throughout the week. On top of that, I food blog in SoCal, Orange County, Los Angeles, and sometimes San Diego. I also do eating video, mukbang and ASMR. 
And as always, written recipes in the description. So be sure to open that box and get the measurements and ingredients as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, what's up guys? This right here is Namban with Kalosan noodles. It's really fun to make if you had time. Quick for summer. So let's make a perfect summer snack. This is called namban. In Lao, this translates to sweet water. In Vietnamese, this is called jia tai. So there's so many different ways to make this. This is steamed layered cakes. In Thai, this is kanom chan. In Lao, it's kanom san. I like the Vietnamese version as well with the mung beans in between, called ban nha lun. Recipe is very simple, however, it does take a lot of time to make because you pretty much have to steam each layer, put in another layer, and then refill it. Keep doing that until you're done, depending on how much layer you want. It's flavor with pandan, I extracted mine. I have pandan in here chopped up already. In my mixing bowl, I have tapioca starch and rice flour. My coconut milk, stirred in little by little. Ooh, getting that workout. And then extract, pour that in. Red one, which kind of gives like a pink color. Three different color. Just gonna add a little bit of oil here so it doesn't stick. A cup. Next, you're gonna steam cook this per layer as shown on video. Use a heat proof cooking ware. Steam cook time is going to vary from 5 to 10 minutes per layer. And we're done. So if you never had this, I would describe it kind of like chewing into a gummy bear, but a softer version. Definitely the kids would love this. Just peel it like this. It's bouncy, see? Puffy, soft. can peel it. Mmm. This is made throughout Asia, steam layered cakes. In Thai, this is kanom chan. In Lao, it's kanom san. The coconut milk, coconut cream in here is so good. Made with pandan. If you're not familiar with pandan, a lot of people like to compare it as the vanilla of Asia. It's so flavorful, delicious, very fragrant. Whenever I make this, it always brings back to childhood vibes. It's like nostalgic. Not hard to make, but it is time consuming. So if you've never had this, you peel them apart like this. Look at that. Mmm. 
It was so much fun to do as a kid. I like the Vietnamese one too, where it's made with mung bean. So good. Such a beautiful dessert. Classic. What's up guys, let's make mango sticky rice. In Thai, it's pronounced Konya Mokmuang. And in Lao, same thing but with a different dialect. Konya Mokmuang. Growing up, whenever I went to the temples, this is what we got to eat. So I always look forward for this, or Khao Tom, which is dessert wrapped in banana leaves. 